Welcome to Corium Concepts. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. I'm confident I'm going to leave you some value today. This is going to be an exceptional program for some Corium information. I'm pretty excited about this recent announcement and what I have found. Very excited to say that the YouTube channel is now over 900 strong. So we are well on our way to the 1000 subscriber NFT multi-chain giveaway. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. All right, checking in with the total crypto market cap. This is on the weekly time frame, $1.24 trillion. Looking at gold, it has crossed 2000 and pulled back a little bit, currently sitting at 1996. And silver at $23.14. The DXY, is leveled off at 106.292. Corium is under some pressure and has fell below 8 cents again, sitting at 7.809. Keep in mind, we do have airdrop coming in two days or beginning in two days, November 1st, the fourth of four Corium airdrops for the Corium snapshot will start being deployed and that will put an end to that distribution of tokens. There is still one airdrop remaining potentially for the uh, excess tokens. And I assume it'd be some excess tokens from this one if some trust lines were closed or whatnot too. So uh, maybe that was part of the reason of waiting there, pooling all those together. Who knows? I'm sure we'll hear something soon once this airdrop is either initiated or comes to a completion regarding the remaining. Don't want to waste a bunch of time on that. Got lots to get into here. Other than that, you can see volume is extremely high, higher than it's ever been leading into this final airdrop. Exciting announcements that we're going to get into later today. I have so much content. There's going to be a second video. I have a whole XRP video. Uh, ready to record and put out right after this. So lots to talk about today. Checking in with the Corium validators. Total staked 236,322,000 representing 43.9% of the circulating supply. Corium Community DAO, voting powers 2.4 million representing 1.02%. And our commission is still at 3%. If you're looking for a place to stake your airdrop, please reach out and we can guide you to staking with us at the Corium Community DAO or uh, guide you to some other quality community validators to stake with so you are properly decentralized. All right, checking in on the chain, Corium is beating away. And uh, I still want to take another look at SEI, Injective, and Band. Um, transactions on these chains are fairly significant. So that's a good sign that they're being used. All right, checking in with the MMRI, Manorino Market Risk Indicator. Keep you on top of the markets. Extreme Risk Zone at 319. It was at 322 earlier today. Uh, not a good place to be as far as the markets go. Crypto Fear and Greed Index is retreated a little bit to 66. Um, you see, you can see it was 68. It did get into, I think, I thought it peaked at 70 there. Maybe not. It's pulled back ever so slightly. And this is what I'm here to talk about today. Corium official released this, having worked with top tier banking institutions and leveraging their profound expertise in data standards, TradeHeader will assist Corium as it efficiently integrates ISO 222 compatibility across the network. Learn more with our latest article. So I went through this article um, when it came out uh, a few days back. And I won't go through it here again. Uh, it's a great article. Check out the video I did on it. 
this article was the first time that the term superledger came about referring to corium and it's right at the bottom here in a section just about corium and it says corium the world's first super ledger a third generation layer one blockchain architected for enterprises of any size from startups to large corporations providing a remarkable transactional speed of up to 7,000 transactions per second and ISO 222 compliance ensures expedient and economical transactions across a swift and secure proof of stake network. Looking into trade header a little bit, financial data standards integration and software consultancy, capital markets, payments, CDM, FPML, FIX, ISO 222. So they got a brand new brochure. Check that out. And then the ISDA. The ISDA would like to thank the exclusive sponsor Trade Header for supporting the journey to digital regulatory reporting conference that takes place on October 18th in London. Click here to see the agenda. The uh, CEO, founder of Trade Header, uh, speaks several times throughout this conference and is a large contributor to the ISDA standards, as you'll see later on here. And then that brought me to Trade Header's site under their products. Trade Header offers high quality custom software development specifically designed to enable and support firms' adoption of diverse standards across their operations. Trade Header has built a strong software development expertise working with multiple financial standards and formats, of which is one of them is ISO 222 including data processing, enrichment, and validation. Software can be customized for specific client needs and deployed in multiple environments, including the cloud or existing clients in-house infrastructure. So then you see here, ISO 222 validator by TradeHeader takes ISO 222 messages as inputs and validates them against ISO 222 base or CBPR plus validation. Well, let's see what that's about. ISO 222 validator. Checking in with their brochure, Trade Header Data Standards and Consultants. All right, so their consulting services. We have extensive experience in analyzing, mapping, enriching, and validating financial data. We have a deep understanding of current challenges and can provide expert guidance and support to help clients navigate these complex issues. And then about them, say for the past 13 years, we've focused on capital and payment market integration projects where the technical skills and extensive knowledge of complex financial products and processes are paramount. What sets Trade Header apart from its competitors is our unique ability to provide clients with not only the best technical solutions, but also a deep understanding of derivatives and complex financial products and processes. This double aspect is key to our success and allows us to deliver exceptional value to our clients. Trade headers origins are closely linked to the IS or the International Swaps and Derivatives Association, the ISDA, giving us unparalleled expertise in modeling over the counter OTC and listed products as well as all the processes and events involved. These are their services, consultancy, software, training. All right, you see they specialize in using messaging standards such as FPML, FIX, CDM, and ISO 222 for financial industry integration projects. We are proud and active members of the working groups that led, lead the development of these messaging standards, giving us unparalleled insights into the latest changes and updates. So their financial products markup language, fixed trading community member, ISO 222. All right, yeah, so let's talk about some of the projects they've done. I'm not gonna dive into this. I obviously probably will in a live stream coming up in the days ahead. Uh, it's just already really late tonight, so I just wanted to get this information out. Repository architecture. 
We perform database design services for the storage of transactions and events related to these transactions, trades, and post-trade events, such as amendments and terminations. So then you can see some of the partners here, BBVA Global Bank, Deutsche Bank, another global bank, lots of global banks here you can see, the ISDA, Bloomberg IT, Hong Kong Interbank Clearing Limited, BME Clearing. I think this is a relationship that they just announced here. And I don't say that just because it makes a tie to being an ISO coin. I say that because Corium has always said that what they are doing with ISO 222 is unique. Nobody else is doing it where it's actually written into the code as opposed to just being compatible. So what exactly that means, I'm not too sure. I assume it's just how it um, works with the smart token technology. I, I wish I could explain it better if anybody can. I'd love to have them on my show to explain it to everybody. But um, when I read all of this and I read that, you know, see who they just partnered with and, and un understand what Corium's trying to build and what it's capable of with its smart token technology, this just really starts to uh, make sense here. And then the ISDA taxonomy classifier, this tool is responsible for the processing of FPML messages, analyzing their content and classifying the products represented according to the message structure. Once classified, the tool enriches the product structure with ISDA taxonomy field, which is usually used by customers for regulatory or routing purposes. And they got a report generator for regulatory purposes. The reporting tools, such as the minimum economic terms required for the Dodd-Frank in the United States, this type of software has been developed after having carried out several projects for clients and using architectures with binding frameworks, where it was detected that in many occasions these tools were too rigid. Our report generator propo proposes a much more flexible regulatory reporting solution using XLLT or XSLT and configuration files to be able to customize the different reports without having to recompile the code every time a change occurs. These guys specialize in this stuff. They offer training courses for the ISO 222. Course can be focused on payments, actions, or both. So, very powerful announcement in my opinion. I think we're going to be very pleased with the relationship that's developed there. And that brought me to uh, being that that airdrop is bringing the fourth and final uh, distribution I thought, well, let's go back and look at the roadmap and see where we're at. And uh, doing pretty good. Main that launch in March. DEX implementation has been put off as far as I can understand, as far as I understand. Haven't heard much about it anyways. Inner blockchain communication protocol, that has been completed. Advanced DEX functions, so still waiting on DEX. We know these functions are supposed to be available but haven't heard anything about when and q1 2024 ibc additional support which would include the xrp ledger ethereum solana the binance chain and bitcoin that would make things quite interesting and that is not too far down the road so exciting to see what's coming up for corium they've announced some major partnerships and other than that, uh, very grateful. This project is a community project, 100% community owned and operated, built by open source developers with the passion of making a more advanced, secure, and fast blockchain. This project has been distributed completely by airdrops. You could have been very well positioned just by holding XRP, which you were given airdrop of Sologenic with based on your XRP holdings. And then based on your XRP and Sologenic holdings, you're given an airdrop of Corium. And then based on your Corium holdings, you were given this last four airdrops again. So this has uh, been a long road 
but we're here it's almost coming to close as far as the distribution so very exciting and exciting to see how much this community has grown wave three grants applications closed today so in the weeks months ahead we should be hearing uh, about some new projects or things being built on corium and that is what we need to see so i'm going to close with the little clip i have here of reza talking about the smart token technology thank you everybody for your support we're well on our way to that 1000 mark i appreciate everybody that supported me all along the way peace and prosperity to you all ideas um were inspired by the xrp ledger because the xrp ledger is indeed very um fully doing um you know transactions for banks and we extended that we, we wanted to make sure that um you know a, a if if a token is issued the token creator has the capability to to create any sort of token whether that's a fungible token or a non-fungible token you could literally just program tax or you can do um airdrops directly with the code or you can you can define if you're if you're tokenizing a stock you can program dividends directly within the token um contract um so more details of, of smart tokens i i want i don't want to share a lot of information because i want to make sure that everybody reads that 